Hey everyone, welcome back to the Designer Gamer to the Bit Generations series. So today we're going to be playing the next game, which is Orbital. It's another pick up and play puzzle game. Um, it's a space exploration and magnetic polarity. So let's just jump right in. Okay, it looks like only one galaxy is unlocked right now. Um, as you beat the stages, um, you unlock more of them, so I'm considering doing a full playthrough of this game. But for now, we're just going to explore the game itself. So, I guess you cannot advance to one stage until you've cleared the previous ones. So let's just go. Okay, so... So B button makes you blue. Oops, crash. Hold on a second, let me get the hang of this. So A button will make you turn red, and blue, and B will make you blue. And now, the object is to absorb, to maneuver yourself so that you absorb planets that are smaller than you, and then you get bigger. And then you could absorb bigger planets. So you gotta work your way up. Also, if you kinda like. If you graze planets, you can get them into your orbit. And then they'll just satellite around you. They'll just be little satellites. Like that, see? Also, if you get into a planet's ring, you get pulled into its orbit. I mean, you you're in you're in its field of gravity. There we go. There we go, we got a sun. Wait a second, we want to get a moon first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm trying to... If you get all the moons, I think you unlock something special or something. So, um, with the moon, you have to catch into your orbit. I think, yeah, got it. And then, I think you have to absorb the sun and then you complete the stage. Okay. No, you have to pull the sun into your orbit. Ta da like that. So you get points or stars. Satellites. And I got the moon. So I think to clear the stage you need to get the sun in your orbit, but the bonus little piece is the moon. And then you get more hits. Okay, so when you're the same color as a planet, you get attracted to it. There we go. It's hard to see how big you could get. There we go. Oh, it's kind of cool with the music where the more satellites you have, the more tracks there are or something. 
I don't know exactly what's going on. But it's cool. Got it. So the, the stages are kind of endless. Kind of like the way Mario Brothers is. Okay, so now I'm in the orbit of the planet. Oops, crashed. Um, so if you go one, all the way one way, you'll come out through the other way. Okay. There's a little trial and error going on. I'm kind of floating aimlessly. Okay. Gotta be careful. Got it. There we go. We got a lot of satellites this time. Nice. So those are lives. So I guess you don't... You don't get knocked out. Of a stage. I guess you have to be kind of careful. Because there are a bunch of planets floating around, so you might get sucked into one or pushed into another, depend on, depending on your distance from them. Oh, see now I'm in the orbit of this planet. So, it gets a little tricky sometimes. Um, so if I go slow, or closer to the middle, I'll be going faster, so. I mean, you have to think about RPM. Anyway, there's the moon. I don't want to get the sun yet. Because I'm trying to get the moon here. Uh, I'm slingshotting around the planets. Oh. I guess when I uh, held down the A button. Uh, no! Uh, hold on a second. Let's go to stage select. Right, so if it's yellow, that means you got the moon. See, and there's also a little moon icon over there if you've gotten it. And then, uh, so let's go back in here and get try again and get the moon. This is kind of very relaxing, the way you're just floating through space. But yeah, they made a cool game out of just dots and circles. Okay. Satellite. There we go to the next planet. Ah. There we go. There's the one. Got it. Mm, 
perfect. Okay. Okay, next stage. Okay, so we're floating around in the orbit. And we gotta push ourselves off. Ouch. To absorb. One of those. There we go. Trying to get that tail one. And it's a moving piece, so it's a little hard. Oh. Yeah, we just gotta be careful not to get the sun yet. Because we're aiming for the moon. Wherever it is. We are catching up there. Just have to be patient. There we go. Now let's get the sun. Just keep in mind that these are kind of easy. Ah, nice. Right, as, as we progress, the stages will get more difficult. And more fun, I guess. And then the, the game will challenge us with the different mechanics that it has. Oh, see? So now we're playing with the orbits. Crash. We fell off the planetary belt. But yes, the stage is the loop. Yeah, that's, the, that's what we needed to get. There's the moon. Smack dab in the middle of the two planets. If we could find it. There it is. Bunk, I knocked it away. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. Quit. I guess you could just start the stage over. So that's going to be a convenient option. fast here. Yep. Just gotta control this ricocheting. Oh, I knocked it away again. 
it looks like when you retry, you start with the amount of lives that you had. Or tries, let's say. That you had. It might be too big already. For the moon. It's kind of in a tight spot. Let's get like really close. Huh. It's like right in the center. So what I think you have to do is, in this case, not absorb any of the other ones. Just go straight for the big one. Because otherwise we'll be too big and knock the moon away. Oh. Are too small. So I guess we need to do one. We just gotta be careful because I don't want to accidentally absorb one. I'm gonna mess this up. Hmm. We missed the exit. Hmm. Yeah, we have to like raise it somehow. It's tricky. But this is all there is to the game mechanics, so we gotta work with what we have. There's no tricks. It's just using your mind to solve the puzzle. I think I figured it out. Let's see if I can pull it off. The game of various is in f f following with the all the bit generations games so far. The game maintains a simple, minimalistic design that uh, it's kind of charming. There we go. Got it. Floating off aimlessly into space. But we gotta get that sun now. Here it is. Nice. There we go. Any more stages left? Still. Oops. We've got to be careful not to crash into anything. Oh, there's the sun. We need to find the moon.
Mm. I like the slow pace of this game. It's, it's an interesting change of pace to the frenetic speeds of the average action video game. <sighs> it's got nice music too. Nice kind of ambient, relaxing. I mean, the game could be a little frustrating at times, but it's more on the calming side, I would say. Let's see how many f times I freak out if I do a <laughs> full playthrough. Oops. There we go. We're gonna slingshot around this planet. I just saw something out there. Hmm. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta like button mash a little bit to figure out what to do. There we go. We missed it. I didn't see the moon yet. Where could it be? Maybe it has to be big enough? I don't know. There we go, yes. I guess it do have to be big enough. And then... That should do it. Okay. Ah, boom. Okay, we're still okay. Let's just circle around here. Yep. There we go. Nice. Oh, how many stages are there? Hold on. Oh, we already jumped into the next galaxy. Um, hmm. Okay, but you basically got the idea. We did, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six stages. This one was a full clear, because it's all yellow with the moon. Um, and this one, we're working on it. Um, but, yeah, that's all there is to this game. So, I guess there's five stages per galaxy. So, there's 30 stages in total. Um, and that's all there is to it. So, if you like this game, you could, uh, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, and share with your friends. Anyway, that's all for this game. Um, again, I may do a full playthrough for it and if not I won't either way see you on the next video thanks for joining